Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Secretary, it's good to see you and appreciate the extraordinary commitment uh, that you have made over the uh, last years to continue to foster American interests around the world. I'm sure we don't agree on all the topics, uh, but, uh, but your devotion to, uh, to American interests is, uh, is noteworthy and, uh, uh, and certainly something that I applaud. Um, you know I'm going to want to talk about China. Uh, China is a disappointment for those of us who follow the Second World War uh, and then followed the collapse of the Soviet Union. We're hoping that China would uh, align with us in some way and see more modernization and, and liberalization and, and a democracy. Unfortunately, it's taken a different turn. Its ambition is to lead the world, dominate the world militarily, economically, geopolitically. I, I just, uh, on a piece of paper while we were here, I just wrote down some of the tactics uh, that I see that they're employing in their uh, grand and strategy uh, in no particular order. Uh, monopolizing key industries, um, with TikTok being able to gather information about Americans, Confucius Institutes to be able to uh, uh, promote their policies in our campuses, uh, inserting themselves through cyber systems and in our critical infrastructure, uh, buying ports around the world uh, so that they can foster their naval uh, commitments or, or naval ambition, um, putting in place graduate students in our universities, uh, in, particularly in STEM subjects, to be able to steal technology, the Thousand Scholars Program to do the same, uh, uh, inserting themselves into leadership positions in international organizations, purchasing farmland around our, uh, our military installations, um, selling drones, Chinese drones to our police forces, um, spy cranes in the, in the seaport we heard about more recently, monopolizing key raw materials around the world, uh, stealing technology from our companies, spreading dissension uh, in the U.S. and through the West. I mean, it, it's an extraordinary list and it goes on and on and on. Um, uh, that is why the uh, former chairman and I of, of this committee uh, proposed and actually got signed into law a, a, uh, a commitment to uh, put together a group of people, Republican, Democrat, inside government, outside government, to develop a, a, a comprehensive strategy to deal with China's ambition. Uh, part of this legislation uh, said that by uh, last July, uh, the administration would be required to submit to Congress in a classified form and with an unclassified summary uh, the, uh, the results of this, uh, the, this uh, strategic de development. Now, I'm, I've been offered the chance to review in camera what has been prepared. Uh, I've tried to uh, schedule that, and that has not been responded to by the, uh, by the department. But does the State Department intend to, pro to uh, submit to the law as as signed by the president to actually put in place uh, uh, the, and to submit to, to Congress the strategy in a classified form. Um, Senator, first of all, I uh, agree wholeheartedly with the, um, the short uh, litany of, uh, of uh, items that you, uh, that you listed in terms of what China is doing to try to pursue uh, its um, military, economic, diplomatic uh, preeminence or, or, or dominance mm -hmm. in the world. And across the board, uh, we have worked in new and effective ways to, um, to deal with that, to push back against that. And I just say very quickly before coming to your question, um, two fundamental things have changed in our approach to China uh, that allows us to approach it from a position of strength. One, what's happened here at home, the investments that we've made in, our, uh, in ourselves with the leadership of Congress, particularly when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to the Chips and Science Act, uh, when it comes to the Inflation Reduction Act. In each of these ways, uh, we put ourselves in a position to make sure that we are leading when it comes to the uh, industries of the, uh, of the future. Uh, and what I see around the world is people taking note of those investments and wanting to partner with us. Second, we have aligned in ways that we have not before with key partners in Europe, uh, in Asia, and beyond in the approach to China. And you see that now in a uh, convergence of um, the approach the tools that we're using, um, both individually and collectively, whether it's um, investment screening mechanisms, uh, whether it's controls on outbound investment to make sure that it's not going to help uh, industries in China that could come back and, and hurt us, uh, export controls that we're doing uh, in a much more coordinated way, um, working uh, across the board uh, to deal with some of the um, economic non-market practices that China engages in that unfairly penalize not only our workers and companies, but workers and companies around the world. I can go on down the list, uh, but we see that convergence in very powerful ways. Now, on the, um, 
uh, strategy and the advisory board. Um, first, uh, we applaud everything that you've done and your leadership on this uh, for many years. Um, we announced the public strategy back in um, uh, the spring of 22, and uh, uh, you were very gracious in actually being there when, when I put that out. Uh, but um, yes, the NSC, I know, uh, and this is what the White House has made available, the classified strategy for um, foreign camera review. I'm going to make sure if there's some problem in scheduling that, that that happens. Um, and I'll also go back to them about um, what more uh, we can do. I know we've provided classified briefings uh, to, to members and to staff on the approach that's uh, in the strategy. Um, but let me come back to you on, uh, uh, on making sure that um, you, you can see and other members can see the full strategy in the classified setting. Well, the, 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 uh, the, the law that was passed um, uh, called not just for a classified uh, setting, which is certainly appropriate, but also to submit to Congress in a public setting what the summary of, the, of those strategic uh, moves would be. And as I went through that long list of Chinese steps, those are the kinds of things I'm looking for. I, I'm, to, to say, look, our strategy is invest and align and compete sounds great. That may be an objective, but the tactical steps of what we're going to do country by country, industry by industry, um, port by port, uh, 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 spyware <laughs> by spyware, uh, et cetera, that's the kind of detail that really creates a comprehensive strategy that can be effective. And I, I guess I'm I'm concerned that as we go potentially from one administration to the next, whether that's in you know, one year or in five years, that we have a strategy that lasts. Uh, you know, following uh, the, uh, the Second World War, George Kennan and, and, um, and others came to, together to develop a strategy that was very successful in confronting the Soviet Union. We're looking to do the same thing here, but we haven't seen anything of that nature yet. And, and, and in the law, required that that be submitted to Congress uh, in a public setting, but also in a classified setting. And I would ask that you honor that, uh, that commitment made in law and provide that information both to, to Congress and to those of us that would want to attend a classified setting. Thank you, and I'll, I'll come back to you on that. Thank you.